The Nobel Peace Prize has been awarded to International Campaign to Abolish Nuclear Weapons (ICAN) for its groundbreaking efforts to achieve a treaty prohibition on the most deadly nuclear weapons. In a response to the statements of Air Chief Marshal B. S. Danoa that his forces are ready for a full spectrum operation, Pakistan's top diplomat has warned India against launching surgical strikes or targeting the country's nuclear installations, saying nobody should expect restraint from Islamabad if that happens. It is reported that China has once again started increasing number of troops near the site of Doklam standoff and also started making the road. India is also keeping a constant eye on the movement. An IAF MI 17 V5 helicopter crashed on Friday morning near Tawang in Arunachal Pradesh. Seven people have reported to have lost their lives in the crash. The central government on Friday said that 13 banks have been provided information on post note bank transaction by 5800 dubious companies. The world number 1 Rafael Nadal books his place in semi-final spot by beating American John Isner by 6-4-7-6 in China Open. He will be facing Grigor Dimitrov who beat Robert Bosta Agut earlier today. The England and Wales cricket board has confirmed that Ben Stokes will not travel to Australia with the rest of the Ashes squad at this stage, while pace bowler Steven Finn has been added to the tour party. RSS member took part in morning gatherings of Jayesh Solanki and gave assurances to the deceased family that they are with them in the time of grief. After his alleged girlfriend Kangana Ranaut allegation on Rithik he came out with counter allegation saying that he never met the girl in question privately. The photograph in the media is moff not real he said. Jodwa 2 is to be included in 100 crore club. The film which released last Friday has so far made 98 crores.